Well guys, it's a new year and it's time for some new trips. So, let's get going on the Wayfaring Trekker. <laughs> As always, the first order of business for a truly great episode is to get a traveling buddy. And I happen to know the perfect traveling buddy, Christopher Castro. Super zoom on his face. And one of the great perks about Chris today is he has volunteered to drive me on my journey. So we're going to get in his brand new truck. I forgot my wallet. Oh, we got it. We got it. Chris, turn left on California Street right now! Right now! Oh, oh red light. Hold up. This is Chris's favorite spot, so he'll be giving me the tour today. Alright Chris, what are you going to try? Well, I'll go through as many of them as I can. <laughs> so this is the apple, so stick there. So Chris ordered his favorite thing here today, and apparently it's a grilled cheese Apples? Apples and bacon. As for myself, I have a beautiful, beautiful hot dog. And Oakland specialty, hot apple cider. You know, I don't know what it is, Chris, but ever since we left that place where we got lunch, something just doesn't smell quite the same. There might be some testosterone in the air. <laughs> well, we made another stop, but unfortunately, they are closed on Thursdays so we'll probably go inside and see what I wanted to see but we still got some animals and some things that we can look at so we'll go ahead and do that and head on down the hill for our next 
little adventure. They really have some interesting animals here, guys. It's just freaking ridiculous. Like, can you believe this? These guys right here are actually Nigerian dwarf pygmy goats. Now, over here, they don't tell us what's supposed to be in here, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. They got a duck and uh, a peacock. All right, then. It's interesting that we stopped here because they happen to have a psychic because he has so many problems. My biggest problem is I'm unblood to commit. I wonder if our friend the psychic was aware that today would be a perfect day for ghosts. All the people, they're right here. It's so quiet today that even the sheriff is sleeping. Well, if you come back during the weekend, lots of places to go. Do you think that's big enough? shops up here in Oak Glen, but this is the one that everyone needs to go to. One of the greatest things here that caught my attention was the handmade moccasins. They even have a little teddy bear to make you feel right at home. Well, there wasn't a whole lot to do there, but it was still a great stop. Got some good food, got to play a little game, and meet some new people. Now, I don't know if there's anything left on this journey, but let's find out together. We didn't bring any food with us. You wanna smell my hand? Huh? By the fingers. We made another stop here at the Parish Ranch. And we're visiting some animal friends, very friendly. Unfortunately, we don't have any feed yet, but I'm gonna see if we can go get some in a minute. Maybe come back and make them all very happy. Is that a llama? Holy cow, that's a llama. I think. Is that a llama, Chris? Uh, over there? Yeah. Looks like a llama. Yeah. Smells like a llama. 
Now, I would just like to clarify, I'm not the most logical person. I got a talking to by the management here, and they told me that that llama is an emu uh, alpaca. Potato Canyon Road. All right, guys, so that is it for the day. We are done with our stops. Well, except for this last one, where I'm going to just take a second to talk to you about what the whole point of today's travels have been. Here we are at our final stop, and you can see we have some dead trees. We are up here in Oakland at the very border as we head down the hill, and these dead trees at certain points of the year are green and full of apples, which is what Oakland is well known for. They have everything from grilled cheese sandwiches with apples in them to burritos with apples in them. Everything here has apples. And as you can see from our little tour, it's a quiet place. People just come out here, do their jobs, head home. You guys may be wondering, why Oak Glen? Well, as I promised, I'm going to explain that to you right now. Last night, my mom sent over a picture that I thought was lost forever of me and my dad doing martial arts. It got me thinking about some of the things that my family used to do when I was younger that I really enjoyed. And one of those things that I haven't done in six, seven years was Oak Glen. The last time we came, they had gunfights, apple pie, uh, rides, uh, petting zoos, all kinds of things. And I was curious to see if that had stayed intact. Now, obviously, as you saw today, a lot of it was closed down, but they still have it here. So as I was reminiscing about my dad and missing the past, today I got a little bite of something that I missed, and that kind of helped me remember that even though time changes, a lot of things stay the same. And on top of that, as I'm going through day to day, working hard, hanging out with my friends, taking care of my family, a lot of times it's hard for me to stop and relax and take a breath. Oakland is a place where you can do that, which is why we used to come here as a family. So that's why we came today, because I want to show you a place, even if it wasn't at its top, even if it wasn't the most glorious, being a weekday, and to show you a place where you could come with your friends and your family, sit down and have some apple pie, and just take a moment to appreciate each other's company and be able to breathe. I just want to encourage you as we go into this new year, not to forget to take time to stop, smell the roses, or the apple pie. So with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of Oakland and some of the ranches that are up here. This is James Hahn. I'm signing off because I've been walking more than I'm used to. Until next week, thank you for joining me on the Wayfaring Trekker. He's a maniac! Maniac! Hey guys, thanks for joining me today on another adventure. If you like what you saw, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you saw for any reason, please feel free to leave a comment, and of course, there's always the dreaded dislike button. If you'd like to communicate with me, feel free to contact me either through Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. They can all be found under my name, James Eugene Hahn. If you'd like to support me financially, feel free to check out my Patreon link as well. Whatever we do in the future, it'll be intense. Hope to see you there.